Hello, hello, hello. Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Medieval. So we're getting, we're nearing the end of this game, I believe. I think there's only maybe four or five more levels left. We're getting close. Which is nice. Because then I can move on to something else. Not that I mind this uh, game, but uh, it'd be nice to move on to a different, different game. Right. Chicken! Go eat your freaking chicken feed. You know what, I, I'd assume that they are, but, uh, oh, no, yeah, they are. Just gotta wait for it to actually happen. I think there's a little bit of money hidden underneath these guys. Oh, yeah, I can see it slowly whittling down. Okay, no. Welcome to Castle Peregrine. In the time of King Peregrine, this magnificent edifice was the seat of power and home to the royal household. Now it is home only to ghosts and forgotten memories. Spooky. <laughs> This was one thing when I played the game that I could not figure out on my own. It's like, how the heck am I supposed to get these guys down without killing them? So I had to look it up when I played the remastered version. <laughs> for rescuing us, kind sir. Forgive us, master. We have no pig to reward you, but we'd be honored if you'd accept these shiny gold-colored stones as a token of our thanks. Gold-colored stones mean actual gold? Honestly, I'll take the gold. I have no idea what I would do with a pig. I don't know how to butcher animals. I've got the chaos room. Uh, let's start uh, this way. Boiling oil. Well, I'm not entirely sure I have any nerves left to feel pain, but, uh... I don't think I want to find out if I can feel pain or not. I'm, uh, not a masochist, so... Yeah, I can jump up there. 
Amazing how much easier these levels are when I've got a full arsenal. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man! You're a monster! I'm not the monster here, you are. You are the one your fairy tale track, poisoning my perfect world. Now tell me, where are the others? I don't know why I decided to burst into a random Shrek quote, but... Sir Daniel Fortescue, it's been a long time. Welcome back to your home. But it is sad that you should see it so. The jewel in Galomir's crown has become a corrupt haven for Zarak's army of shadow demons. Not for long. <laughs> All right. It's time to be clean house. They say hindsight and all that. Hmm. What an odd looking throne. That is a bottomless pit. Just in case any of you were wondering. Now you know. Excuse me. Did I say did I say that you could touch me? I don't think I did. <laughs> I'm feeling like doing a little bass jumping today. Can you tell? I keep on jumping off cliff faces that seem to have no bottom to them. Hey, okay, even if you're dead, you gotta find some way to get your fruit. Get through your. Yeah. Oh. Never mind. Sir Fortescue, noblest of my courtiers, bravest of my captains. Oh, that we should meet at such a dark hour, with the fate of this realm lying once again in your hands. Good God, Fortescue, what's happened to your jaw? <laughs> Bad luck, old man. Now look, Zarok's army of shadow demons <laughs> hide beneath us within this very mountain. They prepare, as we speak, to invade fair Galomir. If we are to thwart his plans, we must bring down the castle on top of them. We must unleash the lava behind the floodgates. I can take you to the gate's control lever, but you alone can pull it. Huh? Of 
course, it's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. But then, I know these things mean nothing to a man of your iron will. Hey, Fortescue? <laughs> uh -huh. hey, he's not eliminated at all. Good luck, old friend. I got the earth room. The lava has been released, said Anne. The castle is collapsing. We will not have long to defeat the stone golems and escape the ensuing inferno. Right, I think I have to push them off the edge here. Um, thinking the hammer might be my best bet. Uh, how do I push them off? Figured out what I need to do. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Barely made it with like a couple seconds left. Okay. Okay. Whew. Well. Ah. Nearly lost my cool there. Alright, who is it this time? Not you. Not you. You. Well, hello, stranger. I've got a little present for you. Why don't you shut your eye and hold out your hands? Is it money? Eh, I'll take it. Gave me some health back, so you know. It's always useful. Right. Okay. Now the next is a pirate ship, and I think I don't know how many levels are left. I think there are only three left. There is obviously the pirate ship, there is the clockworks, and then I think there's 
Zarek's lair, and then of course there's the boss fight with Zarek. So yeah, I think there are only four levels left, so... And not too many episodes left of this game. Anyways, uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, hopefully, whoever watched this, hope you had fun watching me uh, skate by the skin of my teeth. And uh, I will uh, see you around in the next video. Bye-bye!